folks going up for another trip going up a little bit different way today I'm going up over Mount Baldy uh, I'm gonna cut across on the roads that cut over the mountains here and drop into the other canyon um, where uh, James and Robert have uh, probably already gotten there and started hiking I'm uh, on the late shift at 6 30 a.m. Uh, and here is the other side of Cattle Canyon Saddle and uh, I guess Cattle Canyon. Um, this is uh, looking westerly towards the uh, East Fork, so I bet you a shiny nickel that uh, Robert and James are uh, hiking underneath that cloud cover right now or maybe just getting out of it. Man, beautiful. I am glad I got up this morning. I got up a little slow, but uh, it's really nice to be up here at elevation this early in the morning. Feels good. Wakes you up and I don't know, something something feels right about it. You guys figure it out. It just gets more and more interesting and beautiful. I'm gonna give you a almost a 360. Uh, let's see. We are now looking north northeast-ish a little bit. Uh, I believe Mount Baldy proper is over that way somewhere. Um, this is uh, overlooking the the, uh, the canyon of uh, East Fork and San Gabriel uh, River canyon system. And then we got the, that's west out towards the ocean. And man, look at this cloud cover. It's thick. And that's not an island. It's the top of a mountain. I'm not sure which one. I, man, I don't. Uh, you you kind of do lose your bearings without the uh, the city pointing you in what direction. But uh, really neat out here. Hope it does something for you too. driving down some twisties here's the only downside of uh, coming this way uh, a lot of twisties which you know hey I don't mind this is this is fun driving for me yeah this is uh, this is Glendora Mountain Road and then it's eventually gonna connect with East Fork Road um, this is a pretty well a lot of stupid people get on the, this road how's that a lot of people that drink a lot of people that uh, ride my motorcycles uh, out of control um, you get racers up here, like uh, road racers. Uh, great, you know, if you could close it off and if you could put bigger berms here and if you could make the uh, the mountain nice and soft, it'd be fine for road racers, but uh, they tend to smash the walls and, you know, I'm sure a few have flown off the side of the hill, maybe never to be seen again or, you know. Um, so really, really dangerous driving up here. Um, you know, but a beautiful drive. You know, if you're taking it easy, you know what you're... Uh, uh, your vehicle can do and you don't go past that and you know you know how to, how to watch the, the curve of the road that's what I see is a lot of people you know they go too fast and they can't they, they don't know what turn is coming up next and you hit that big uh, 180 turn with a with a tight uh, tight curl and you're doing you know even 40 up here 45 and maybe forget it you're not gonna make that turn and you see a lot of people fishtail after the turns and bam right into the wall you know there's there's I've gone up here three times in the past two weeks and uh, each time I've seen a good two or three uh, fresh wrecks, you know, so not cool, uh, be safe everybody, don't exceed the limits of your vehicle or the roadway and uh, don't ever drink and drive, it's slow. He didn't make it, dude. Run again, didn't make it. I told James to get out of your hole. He, There's my dude. hole. That's my hole. Do That's my hole. You made it, dude. Woo, yeah. Back, huh? I slept in a little bit, but uh, 
Oh, you know, the hike wasn't that bad, actually. It was a little long. This we ran two buckets, got a bunch of gold already. Yeah. I'm already happy. Your sluice up there with his? No, mine's right here. Cool. Yeah, I figured I'm not going to do that hike. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? I made it. Let's take a look. No, there's some shade there. We really can't see it. I see a small piece in the back. Cool. Lots of small stuff. I'm just going to dig up as many bucks as I can, get as much gold as I can. Snake. Uh, two and a half foot long. Obviously black on top, a couple of white stripes along the back sides. Um, who was that down in the OC that uh, ID'd the garter snake? Is this... I totally forget what that first garter snake looked like. I don't think it looked like this. I think this is different. He ain't doing nothing. And I'm 99% certain he is not venomous. No rattle. Um, and I think rattlesnakes are the only venomous snakes we have to uh, worry about. And I get to play with his tail. Oh, oh, whoa, he is fast. Wow, gone. Wow. I'm glad he was not aggressive. He would have had me all day long. Woo! We've got visitors at the mine. This is the closest I've ever been to the bighorn sheep. That's uh, maybe 50 foot, 40 foot. See if I can catch one. Here we go. Good afternoon. Here's our uh, workings for the day. Threw up a little canopy so we had some shade. Um, I tried to share it earlier, just the trees and uh, the the setup didn't work out. But finally, I got to share a little bit with James. And here's my uh, hole down here. There's a little depression there, and a step down, and then down into the hole. Um, don't worry, I don't, uh, I don't leave this like this. I uh, fill it up with uh, stuff, heavy, 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 heavy stuff, and dangerous yeah, stuff, spiky, weeds. rusty stuff, and uh, then I button it up for the night, and uh, you know, plan to come back. Um, so let's go check out my box. Roberts did his cleanup. He's got a bunch of nice flakes, and he's gonna do his. Uh, he's gonna pan out his uh, concentrates right now. And why don't we head over to my box? You gotta see my box. It's looking good. I like this spot. It's running nice. It might be running a little bit slow, but. I don't mind, it's trapping stuff. Um, but I keep having an issue with the carpet uh, being tucked a little too far backwards. But let's see if you can see some color here. Looking good, I like it. Time to change up the matting though and uh, maybe go 50-50 with some miner's moss and some fresh carpet. I think that's the plan in my head for now. Beautiful day. It's pretty warm though, probably 85 degrees really. Uh, I went through all of my water. I'm glad uh, James has got his uh, his kit here. We boiled up some more water, so I got an extra drink there on him. Thanks, James. There's his little setup. 
Let's take a peek. Whoa. Nice big one right there. Man, my shadow's in the way of everything. And this still has to clean up a little bit. All right, it's shutdown time. I'm headed down the trail. These guys are going up the trail. They're gonna stay up here another night and uh, camp at uh, Camp One here. <clears throat> it was a good day, it was, it was good work, it was nice weather. Um, the gold looked pretty good. I don't think it weighed out too heavy, but that's All it right, for another night. Guys. Happy panning. Yep. And then uh, I'll put a link down there for Robert's channel so you can see his video of the, uh, the tomorrow. All right, later, guys. So don't let nobody stop us. Free spirits have to soar.